Let us now take the second model from the topic of set theory where we shall see how to draw Venn diagrams for three given sets. Here again we try to represent the universal set with the help of a rectangular box and each of the subsets is represented with the help of a circle. And the overlapping between the circle shows the intersection between two sets. So let's see how can we understand the case of three sets with the help of a Venn diagram. As you can see here the complete rectangular box shows here the universal set. Now this universal set is nothing but the total. The total number of persons or total number of objects that we have in all the three categories together. Now if you try to see there are three different sets. Set A which is represented by the circle here. Set B as represented by the circle and set C again as represented by the third circle. So A is nothing but one category of students let us say. B is the second category of students and C is the third category of students. Students or persons as the case may be. If we observe this Venn diagram we find that the total set or the universal set here has been divided into eight different regions and each of these regions is represented with a small letter. For example as you can see here A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H are the eight different regions. So let us understand what does each of these regions represent. As I mentioned earlier A, B and C are the three subsets. Capital A, capital B and capital C. These are the three subsets and various regions have been shown in this diagram. So let us understand the meaning of each one of them. And as you can see the total of set A is nothing but A plus D plus E plus G. That means complete set A is comprised of these four regions A plus D plus E plus G. So that's how it is given here. Similarly, the complete set B can be taken as B plus D plus F plus G. So that is what is given here B plus D plus F plus G. Likewise, the set C which is represented by this circle can be taken as C plus E plus F plus G. So C plus E plus F plus G. That means when we have to find out what is the number of elements in A or what is the number of persons in A, we have to take all these four regions. Similarly, number of persons in set B, all the four regions have to be considered which comes inside this set B. And likewise for circle C we need to consider everything that comes within that third circle C. As I have mentioned earlier the keyword only plays a very important role. For example when we say how many persons or how many objects are there in set A we say the answer is A plus D plus E plus G. But let's say the question is how many persons are there in only A. In only A is what? This region. Only A is nothing but the region which is represented by small a here this region as you can see this region represents only a so that is what is given only a is the small letter a is the region represented by small letter a likewise only b only b is this region as represented by the dotted line so it should be taken as small b and only c is nothing but the region which is represented by small letter c here so that is one point which where we need to be careful if the question is about a we need to consider a plus d plus e plus g and if the question is about only A, then we take only small a. Likewise, if the question is about only C, we need to consider this small region which is represented by small c. And only B should be taken as B here. Apart from these three regions, A, B and C, the other regions here are D, E, F, G and H. So let us now understand what does each one of them represent. Now if you observe D and G, this complete leaf as represented by D and E, this is the region which shows overlapping between A and B. So the overlapping between the two sets A and B is shown by the regions D and G together. So the number of persons involved in both A as well as B should be taken as D plus G. So both A and B is taken as D plus G. Likewise, the region which is represented by both B and C is nothing but G plus F. This overlapping part, intersection part is G plus F. So that is nothing but G plus F which is both B and C together. And the last part here is the set which is represented by both A and C. So the overlapping between A and C is shown by the regions E and G together. So both A and C should be taken as E plus G. This is nothing but A intersection B. A intersection B. The intersection of these two circles is D and G. Likewise, this is A intersection C. Intersection of these two circles is the region represented by E and G together. And B intersection C should be taken as F plus G. So these three regions D plus G, E plus G and F plus G show the intersection of any two of the given sets. Moving on further, all ABC is nothing but G. If you observe the centermost region here, 
G is that region which shows the overlapping between all the three circles. If you observe properly, circle A or set A, set B and set C, their overlapping region is nothing but the region G here. So that G is nothing but which shows the persons involved in all A, B and C categories. So that should be taken as G. And the last region here we find is H which is nothing but the region outside these three categories. So whatever is left out after these seven regions should be taken as H and that is nothing but none of A, B and C. So none of A, B, C should be taken as H. And as I mentioned in the previous case, sometimes the value of H may be zero. For example, let's say each of the persons here is involved in at least one of these three categories. In that case, none will become zero. So if none exists, it should be taken as H. Otherwise, it can be simply taken as zero. So these are the eight different regions that we have in case of three sets. And now by combining all these things, we can derive a formula as shown here. That is total should be equal to set A plus set B plus set C minus both of A and B minus both of B and C minus both of C and A plus all A, B, C plus none of A, B and C. Like in case of two sets, we say total equals to A plus B minus both of A, B plus none of A, B. So in case of three sets, it should be A plus B plus C minus both of A and B together minus both B and C together minus both C and A together plus all A, B and C together and none of A, B and C. And if we try to substitute the variables in terms of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H in the formula, we find that the total will be balanced as A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G plus H. So that can be verified simply by taking capital A as A plus D plus E plus G, capital B as B plus D plus F plus G and capital C as C plus E plus F plus G. And likewise both AB, both BC, both AC can be taken as shown here. And when we substitute everything in this formula, we find that the total comes out to be the sum of all these eight regions. As we have discussed earlier, in case of three sets, it is always suggested that we go for a Venn diagram to answer the given questions. And remember friends, if we draw the Venn diagram, the first region that we need to fill here is the region represented by G. That is nothing but the region which shows maximum overlapping. As you can see, G is that part which has got overlapping between A, B and C, all of them. So until and unless we know what is G, we cannot fill the remaining regions here. So if you have to go by Venn diagrams, the first region that we should fill here is G. Once we get to know what is the value of G, then we can proceed for D, E and F. And after we get D, E, F, we can fill A, B and C. And at the end, the value of H can be obtained. So that's like an inside out operation. First of all, we should know what is G. Then we can proceed outwards and fill the remaining regions D, E, F. And then after that A, B, C and finally we can go for H. Before we take any example, let us understand what are the various types of questions that can be asked in case of three sets. And as you can see here, let us assume that the three different sets represents three different categories. For example, A is the number of people who have tea, B is the number of people who have coffee and C is the number of people who like to have milk. So let's see what are the different types of questions that can be asked in case of these three categories. For example, the question may be how many people like tea? Now as you can see here, T is represented by this circle A. So whatever comes inside that should be taken as the number of people who like T. So that is A plus E plus D plus G. Suppose the question says, how many people like only T? Remember friends, the keyword only plays an important role. T and only T are two different cases. So the number of people who like T should be A plus D plus E plus G. And number of people who like only T should be the region A. Why? Because only T means what? They should not like coffee and milk. So if we try to take out the remaining two circles, the left out region is A. Likewise, the question can be how many people like to have only coffee? Only coffee is B. How many people like to have coffee? Should be B plus D plus G plus F. How many people have milk? That should be taken as C plus E plus G plus F. How many people have only milk? That should be taken as C. The other question can be as follows. How many people have all tea, coffee and milk? So all tea, coffee and milk is nothing but the region G. How many people like to have none of these? None of these should be taken as H. How many people would like to have coffee and tea? Now as you can see coffee and tea means what? Intersection of coffee and tea. And intersection of coffee and tea is D plus G. D plus G. Again here, the word only plays an important role. How many people like to have coffee and tea? We should take it as D plus G. How many people like to have coffee and tea only? When we say coffee and tea only, it means they should not like milk. So that should be taken as the region D. 
So if the question says how many people want to have tea and coffee, we should take it as D plus G, tea and coffee. That means here the people can also have milk, but they should necessarily have tea and coffee. So that is D and G. How many people want to have tea and coffee only? Then we have to go for D. Likewise, it can be how many people like to have coffee and milk but not tea. So as you can see, coffee and milk is this region. But because it says not tea, we should leave out the region G. So only left out part is F. So people who like to have coffee and milk is G plus F. People who like to have coffee and milk only is F. And similarly, it can be asked for tea and milk and tea and milk only. So depending on the question, we can just pick up the required regions, add them and get the required answer. 